everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes we've got situation reports from um Pulling units in Ikboba Oka Ward 4. This, all of this update is regarding the Edo State Governorship election. We know the election is set for today and voting has since begun. But uh, there's been some observations and concerns raised in this Ward 4. We'll bring you all of the details shortly, my people. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, and we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. A door election situation reports from polling unit Ikboba Oka Ward 4. The current situation in Ward 4 Ikboba Oka Aurora Primary School is a little tensed as INEC officials were nowhere to be found as at 9.30 a.m. There is apprehension among most of the electorate who claim they have been at the voting center since 7.30 a.m. this morning. Some of the electorate were heard saying that no matter the time of arrival of INEC officials, everybody must vote before the voting will be stopped, even if it will take them leaving the voting center 9 p.m. at night. When a call was put across to them as to why there is a delay in the arrival of the election materials to the ward, the INEC officer simply said that they are under instructions not to move until there is enough security presence. At the time of filing this report, there was heavy security presence, a combination of policemen and men of the Civil Defense Corps at Aurora Primary School, where the voting is meant to take place. The INEC officials, however, arrived at the voting center at exactly 10.30 a.m. and are now trying to set up their stands while electorates are seen scrambling to take vantage position in the voting line. So yes, my people, yes, uh, voting is going on um, in the different world all over. And even um, Obasek himself, um, the PDP candidate and the APC candidate as well, they are out as well. And uh, to, so far, so good. It looks like everything is going um, well. But in some words, there's been um, reports of uh, um, some attack and whatsoever. But this uh, uh, and this very word, word four, the news we're getting is that um, the INEC officials did not arrive as at the expected time they were meant to arrive. It was stated as at 9.30 a.m. this morning, they were nowhere to be found. When they were contacted, it stated that um, they are under instructions not to move until they get um, enough security. I mean, that is quite um, good because um, they wouldn't want to come out without security and uh, being attacked. You know, we've had a lot of uh, cases today regarding um, snatching of um, ballot bus. Some allegations have been against the All Progressive Congress where a, an APC chieftain was caught trying to um snatch uh, uh election material so i mean maybe that's um the instruction they've been given and it's a good one but uh, when they turn out uh at the time when they will come out they should ensure that um, everyone is given the opportunity to vote you know what the electorate they were saying and um, to them they feel like um this is uh maybe just a plan not to get everyone voting because when it gets to a certain time they would conclude and state that um the election has ended that they are finishing but what uh, the electorate are saying what Edolite are saying that because they didn't turn up on time, um, they should be given the opportunity to vote regardless of the time. Um, everyone gets to have a chance if, if it's 9 p.m. in the evening, then everyone must vote. I mean, that is true as well because if everyone is not given the opportunity to vote. It might be seen or recorded that um, that is not uh, the decision of a dolite. All a dolite did not actually decide in this uh, in this case. I think they are doing all they can do. They are they've actually started the voting. The voting is going on as you can see. Uh, people are all around the different wards. Everything is going on um, smoothly. We hope that um, everything will go smoothly like this uh, until um, the winner is announced. Let everything go on peacefully. So my people, yes, um, we. Are here to keep you updated as soon as we get more updates we'll do well um, to bring you um 
all of the um, latest updates we're getting. Like I stated earlier, Ron Obasek is out, uh, out, and his aide, his uh, deputy, who is his running mate as well, Philip Shaibu, they've all been out today, and uh, there's been no report of any sort of violence. Is it Iyamu on his part? The APC candidate has been out as well today, and there's been no report um, of violence. We're hoping that they will not get any violence. You know, um, the uh, security agencies, they're all collaborating, and they promise that... Um, on the day of the election, they will ensure that all lives are safe, everyone is safe. I, I think that that is the confidence that uh, those lights are holding on to. That is the word they are holding on to to be able to come out today um, to vote. Because if the security state is still not uh, um, stable, people will not come out. They wouldn't want to um, risk their life to get into any form of danger. The long anticipated day is here. Uh, Edo 2020. The long anticipated day is here, September 19th. And um, it's a good thing that um, all the uh, uh, INEC officials, they are doing all they need to do. INEC has promised uh, um, a dolite light that um, this time around they will conduct a free, fair and credible election. Let's recall that um, just uh, a couple of days ago, PDP um, national leaders, they did storm INEC's uh, um, office. And what they stated was quite shocking and uh, it, it was even surprising that um, PDP is only just re, um, raising that concern. PDP stated that INEC has done this before. Times so without number, they've promised the people that um, they will conduct a free and fair, credible election. At the end of the day, it is far from what they get. So they, to PDP, they don't even believe INEC. They don't trust any single word INEC is saying. But um, let's give them the benefit of the doubt in this um, very election. We'll see how everything goes, how it plays out. Remember, um, just a couple of hours as well, the PDP chairman, Nason Wike, told the uh, Inspector General of Police um, to his face that uh, I'm not leaving Edo State. I'm here to monitor and write a report of how everything goes. So he's on ground and um, trying to see what uh, INEC will do this time around. It's like they already know INEC. They said INEC has been in the business of manipulating and rigging election. So guys, um, we're here. We're here to Bring all of the latest updates as soon as um, they come up. Drop us your comments anyway down below in the comment section. would love to hear from you. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please, guys, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really, really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.